foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Merkak, Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, and honors and citations to the hopeful elect. So I want to entitle this Trust the Spiritual Process. Okay? That's guided by none other than the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, trust the spiritual process because it's all the inner workings of the spirit. Like it says in the, um, the book of Romans, the 8th chapter. For to be spiritually minded is life and peace, but to be carnally minded is death. And Elder Apostle Gabar mentioned something very beautiful. Was today when yeah, in the, in the sit down yesterday on how blessed we are to have this this knowledge, man. Like how many people know what we know? Okay, how many people even know about thinking spiritually? Reverting back to the scriptures. Okay. So, trust in the spiritual process through the spirit and power and the workings of Yahweh Bashma Washai. You know, we should be able to see it being laid out. Now, this is my first scripture in the book of Luke, chapter 6. I'll start at verse 46. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? And now immediately in this day and age, in these times, we're thinking of that the one dude who had his whole entire family sitting there eating abominable foods in the name of Yahweh Bashmah Shai, man. That's going to be those guys who, who, who the Lord says, depart from me. I never knew you. Ye that work iniquity things like that happen it just it's sad to say but it's the truth that it makes it makes me feel better about my chances man it makes me feel better about myself that I'm on the right path okay of being the hopeful elect you got guys out here eating abominable foods in the name of Yahweh Shai man you're gonna have those that are that are sincere and that's doing what pleases the Lord to the best of their ability. True, truly fighting. Like Apostle Paul said, man, I fought the good fight of faith, resisting temptations, man, overcoming temptations. Man, all praise and glory to Yahweh Shema Shai. It's a beautiful scripture. It says, We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. So we're conquering demons, conquering different avenues of the flesh you know getting more wins than losses so to speak in this fight and that's all through the spirit and power Yahweh Bashem Shai not of our own will so continuing on it says uh whosoever cometh to me which we all come into to Yahweh Shai in the spirit when we put our hand to the plow when we begin to pray Believe through that calling. It says, and heareth my sayings, right? And doeth them. So we got to be a doer of the word. I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built in house and digged deep. So it all goes back to hearing the words of the Lord and doing them okay and, and within doing it we we do it for the uh, the betterment of ourselves to be more useful for you how about will shy like for an example the scriptures say um let me let me grab a matter of fact 
the scriptures cover so much, man. Matter of fact, Ecclesiastes 38 and 4, the Lord hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. So what's the medicines out of the earth? The herbs. Even, even certain foods. <laughs> uh, I don't know who, who came up with that quote. I, I'm not sure if it's even in the scriptures. But it's a, let, that, let thy food be thy medicine, man. Let thy food be thy medicine. And then the herbs as well. Like sea moles come straight up out of the earth, man. And, and, and it has a plethora of benefits. So, okay. Bang, we take the herbs. We take the herbs, as the scriptures say. And we take the herbs not to uh, 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 help us come up with better bars for our uh, rap songs. Not to help us be more clever to bag, bag more women out here. Okay? Not to uh, help us in the compete in the damn triathlon. Now, while all those are uh, side benefits and can help in those aspects, it's we primarily do all these things for the better, betterment of ourselves to be more useful, to be more edifying, to be able to understand better for the spirit for Yahweh Shemel Shai so with doing all the with doing all these uh, 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 all the sayings of what the Lord says you know in the whole in all the scriptures uh, even like it says in uh, because the scriptures say that Yahweh Shai said I am my father are one so even how it says uh, uh, in Ezekiel eat the whole roll right so we're eating the whole roll Doing everything that's contained in the scriptures to the best of our ability. Once again, for the betterment of ourselves to be more useful for Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay. Now I say all that to say to go back to trust the spiritual process, man. The uh, the inner workings of of uh, uh, everything we got going on for the ultimate betterment of ourselves, which. You know, I got a second uh, main entree scripture, so to speak, which I want to get into after I finish reading this. Right? On trust in the spiritual process, right? So this is a... Uh, he is like a man which built a house and digged deep and laid the foundation on a rock. Now see that... Now see, when, you, when you're about to build a house, you don't just go and build it. You come up with the blueprint. With the blueprint first. You come up with the blueprint first, man. You sitting there, you looking at the blueprint. You uh directing people. No, over over to the left more. More, more, you know? And you and you and you standing back and you looking at it and you can see the vision already. Okay. And you're in your sight. So, you know, uh um, oh yeah, and, uh, and the elder down in Mississippi even mentioned, which is it's, it's it's been coming up in the spirit of routines. Routines are like the blueprints. Coming up with a routine is like a blueprint, man, to uh, building that on um, um, that 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 strong house, that strong foundation. So see, we got to come up with that blueprint. That spiritual blueprint and perform the inner workings of it, trust in the spiritual process of the Lord. If it be the Lord's will. Okay? So that's what we're here doing, man. We're digging deep and, and working on that house. Then once you then once we have that house, hey, we become a lot more profitable. Once that, once that nice spiritual house is built and secure, okay? It says now, and when the flood arose, so guess what? Yahweh Shai is going to allow 
all the hopeful elects spiritual houses to be to be built and rooted and finished before that uh, well before Jacob's trouble arrives because the flood are these false doctrines too you know the flood already has already been going on okay yeah these false doctrines out here false prophets Okay, all leading up until uh, the hour of temptation. So guess what? Before the hour of temptation comes, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to see if you see it through that the hopeful elect spiritual houses are built and rooted and, and ready to withstand uh, uh, the test, the hour of temptation. See, and that's why it goes back to what? Trust the spiritual process everything that we're going through everything that we're learning these the, the fight that we're going through man it's a uh, it's just a bit it's just a building up man the digging deep for that short foundation man okay and when the flood arose the stream beat vehemently upon that house could not shake it for it was founded upon a rock. See? And that goes back to what? Hearing the sayings of Yahweh Shai and doing them. Constantly doing them and doing them and doing them, man. Doing these lessons. Um, constantly listening in to the apostles and others of Great Millstone and all the other brethren on down. Okay. Heck, even the fasting. Yahweh Shah said the time is going to come where the bridegroom shall be taken away and then they shall fast. So we back in the continuation of that time. But we should be fasting. And within doing all this, it's building up, man. Every single day is building up. All right. Now, let me get, um, I think that's in John. I think that's John the 14th chapter. Or maybe the 15th. Yep, 15. And I'm going to end it with this, John 15 and 1. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. See, so we, we yo, yo. I mean, come on. Come on. How much more plain you, you, you need it, man? At this point, it's like, come on. If you don't, if we don't bear fruit in the Lord, he's going to cast us out. So that's why we got to do these works, man. That's why it's a blessing, man. Dude, the spirit of how about from Rashad that he put on the apostle to heart, on the elder apostle to heart to do at least three shows a week, which then got up to at least one, uh, uh, one lesson a day. You miss a day, try and do two, try and just try and catch up, man. Because if we don't bear fruit, meaning doing these works, letting the light shine before men, off camera works, on camera works, yeah, how wish I can take us away, man. It says, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. See? Trust the spiritual process. That purging? Let's get into purge. Woo hoo hoo! Dang, yo, the Lord is beautiful, man. So the Lord, the Lord see that you. So the Lord sees that 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 you're not as one that doesn't bear any fruit. He sees that you're bearing fruit, but then he says, "You know what? I can make it even better. I can make it even better, man. So that it brings forth even more fruit." Then it was already bringing forth. And how did he do that? Through the purging. So let's get into purge. From the Greek word there. Kathairo, if I said that correctly. Purge. Kathairo. Says so to cleanse of filth and purity. To prune trees and vines from useless shoots. So pruning, pruning trees is what? Snipping them. Snip. Snipping them, man. Metaphorically from guilt to expiate 
ok? See? So, to prune trees. Alright, let's get into a prune trees, right? Pruning trees. Look. <laughs> Tree trimming, see? Tips for pruning trees. On your tree, protect the leader or main trunk from competition. When, so, yeah, as you can see, see? Scissors, uh, remove sucks or side shoots from the base of the tree using a knife or scissors. See, so cuttings. Cuttings and snippings. And that, uh, and, and, and that, and that does not feel, hey. It ain't gonna feel good. It ain't gonna feel good, man. may feel uncomfortable okay upset yeah really just uncomfortable man okay like you're going through a challenge but that's the purging so that you could bring forth so that what in the end result you bring forth even more fruit so guess what it, take, hey, it may take a little time okay in the Lord's time um because after you're done pruning the trees, it takes a little while for for uh, for it to grow forth into or what you want it to uh, be. But see, the, the thing is that these times are speeding up, so it's all going to be done even faster. But um, so you know, you know, we don't want to definitely we don't want to drag our feet. There's no excuse. Don't want to drag your feet, man. We need a sense of urgency. We definitely need to have a sense of urgency. But yeah, how Bashar Masha is gonna have everything happen in due time. And the elect will be fortified and protected and built up and rooted and ready to go when that time comes. Okay? Because Yahweh Shema Bashai loves his elect and that's his family. So he's gonna see them through. He even said it himself. So, so like you for the long winded, going back. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. Ooh. Okay. And of course, we can continue to read on, but it's 18 minutes in. So, hey, with that, trust the spiritual process. Believe in Yahweh Bashem Shai. Believe in it. You know, we got to believe that we are on the road to growing and growing and growing and growing and growing in this truth, man. And it's a fight. So, Lowell is edifying. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.